summer is here, obviously. One issue that people may not associate with all the hot weather is asthma. However, pollen, air pollution, humidity, all can make it difficult for those who suffer from this disease. New Hampshire State, State Epidemiologist Dr. Ben Chan joins us to share some important information. Good to see you, sir. Thank I was, you. I was always under the impression you either had asthma or you didn't. I mean, what is it? So, so as a, I mean, that's, that's a great question. Asthma is a um, common dis, uh, disorder and it's chronic. Uh, people that have asthma have underlying inflammation in the airways um, around their lungs. This causes, um, at times, the airways to narrow or constrict and leads to symptoms. And those symptoms um, involve air trapping or trapping of the air in the lungs, which causes people to have difficulty breathing, uh, cough, wheezing, chest tightness. Um, when somebody has asthma, they, they have it all the time, but they don't always have symptoms. There are certain triggers that cause people to develop symptoms of asthma, and these, these triggers can be um, different for different people, but right. oftentimes involve environmental triggers like uh, allergens, dust, mold, um, tobacco smoke, pet dander, right. infections, um, sometimes workplace exposures like fumes or chemicals can cause it, and, and some, even you know, exercise and stress can, can lead to asthma. Sure, I imagine it's scary for uh, How big of a problem is it in the Grand State, especially mm -hmm. in this time of year? Uh, that's a good question. New Hampshire has one of the highest rates of asthma actually in the country, um, looking at the state, mm -hmm. and we estimate that anywhere from 10 to 11 percent of uh, children and adults are, um, are, have asthma or have complications of asthma. Um, and those with asthma, we estimate that more than 30% of children and up to 50% of adults who have asthma have poorly controlled asthma. And so that leads to you know, increased asthma attacks, um, hospital visits, ER visits. Um, so there's more than 6,000 emergency room visits in the state every year, and that has um, obvious uh, personal and financial implications into the healthcare system. Sure, no question about it. So, so what's the advice, uh, particularly in this hot weather that we're seeing right now coming from the state when it comes to those who may not even know that they have it? Well, so, so we want people to certainly get outside and enjoy the hot weather. Sure. Um, you know, not everybody has asthma, but those who do have asthma should work with their healthcare providers to uh, develop an individualized um, management plan. There's lots of medications out there. Not everybody needs all the medications, but they should develop a plan with their provider, take the medications as prescribed to both help prevent and treat asthma attacks. Um, they should know their symptoms and also uh, know the triggers to asthma and avoid them. So that may include, you know, avoiding dust and dust mites, um, you know, washing linens uh, weekly in hot water, using dust covers, um, avoiding tobacco smoke, which, um, you know, can be a big problem around children sure, and, and adults who smoke. Indeed. Yeah. All right. Well, good stuff. Thanks very much. Good My to pleasure. See you. Dr. Ben Chan. Thank you.